Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at an SAT problem involving circles. So we have in the figure below, A and B are the centers of two congruent circles that intersect at points C and D. If arc CBD has length 2 pi, what is the area of circle A? So for this problem here, we want to make use of the given information. And when we're told that the measure of arc CBD equals 2 pi, we could label that right away. Arc CBD is equal to 2 pi. But if we try to solve the problem using just this information, we're going to hit a roadblock immediately. So when you get stuck on an SAT problem, ask yourself, why did they tell me in this case that the two circles are congruent? Well, if they're congruent, the circles, that means they have the same length radius. So if we draw in multiple radii here, we go from A to C, that is going to be length R. Then from A to D is length R. But then from uh, the center of circle B to point C is also going to be R. So if we draw this in, we could label this with an R as well. And we could label these segments here R. And from A to B also has to be R. So if we look at this diagram a little bit closer now, this is going to tell us that these two triangles that we've made here inside the overlap are both equilateral triangles. And since they're both equilateral triangles, that means the measure of each angle is 60 degrees. So we can label a few of them 60 degrees, but what this tells us is the missing link that we need to solve this problem. So if I extract circle A, I draw it over here, and I write points C, B, and D, then the measure, of the, uh, the measure of the central angle that intercepts this arc is 120 degrees. So now this becomes much more doable to solve. This arc here is still length 2 pi. But this tells us, since 120 degrees is one-third of 360, we have one-third of the circumference here. So one-third of the circumference... is equal to 120, I'm sorry, is equal to 2 pi. Okay, so the length of one third of the circumference is equal to 2 pi. So that tells us that the circumference of circle A is equal to 6 pi. So we have the circumference is equal to 6 pi. And if we use the formula, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius. This tells us the radius of circle A. So we divide both sides by 2 pi, and this tells us that R is equal to 3. Now, this doesn't solve the problem for us, but we want to know what is the area of circle A. Now we just use the formula area equals pi times the radius squared. We plug in 3, and then the area is equal to 9 pi. So our answer to this problem is option C. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this circle SAT problem. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below, and happy studying.